So, is it true that the black car gets much hotter than the white car in the sun? There must be some difference, but is it a big one? Is it worth worrying about this? Today we're gonna do the ultimate test. Today is February 19th, it's 10 a.m. here in Sao Paulo, and it's already 86 degrees Fahrenheit. That's very hot for Sao Paulo, but in Rio de Janeiro, it's much worse. There's a heat wave going on there. With temperatures exceeding 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and the heat index, which considers humidity, goes above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. We call it a heat wave when temperatures are 41 degrees Fahrenheit above average and stay like that for some time. 41 degrees Fahrenheit may seem small, but it makes a big difference. Imagine the clothes you wear at 66.2 degrees versus 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's why we decided to do this test. Everyone says that the black car heats up more than the white car, but does it really make a big difference in practice? We wanted to do a very precise test. What did we do? We rented two identical cars of the same model with the same upholstery from the same year, and we're going to test exactly the same things inside them. Let's get to work. <laughs> Check out what we're going to put inside the car. A little hot glue stick, which always melts. A bit of paraffin wax. Will this make any difference? A 3D printed boat made of PLA plastic, which doesn't hold up well in the heat. A structure made of toothpicks glued together with hot glue in the corner. I think this one will collapse. And a bit of chocolate. Oh boy, it's gonna turn into a mess. And an egg. Will it cook? And of course, we're gonna put a thermometer in there. The sensor, I'll place exactly where the driver's back would be. It's one of the last places we want to heat up, but the display, I can stick outside so it's easy to see. Look, it's 10 hours and five minutes in the morning. The sun is already high in the sky. We left both cars open while we were setting up so there wouldn't be any influence at this stage. So now it's time to close both cars and start the test. Closed almost at the same time. The black car is at 95.18 degrees Fahrenheit and the white car at 87.62 degrees Fahrenheit. There's already this absurd difference even before before closing the car, the temperature is rising incredibly fast. You can see it climbing here. In the white car, it's also rising, but a bit slower. Danny is over there doubting the thermometers. But here's the thing. Yesterday, when we put batteries in them, we paid close attention to see if they were showing the same temperature together, and they were. Sometimes there was a difference of 33 degrees. This temperature difference really does exist. When I got into the car to put the things inside, I could already tell that the black car was much hotter. But now, six minutes have passed, and the difference between the two cars is almost 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This one is at 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and that one over there is at 111.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The chocolate was kind of whitish, a bit strange. Now it's completely brown with some oily marks melting. 25 minutes in, and the black car has already crossed the 122 degrees Fahrenheit mark. The paraffin started to melt. Wow, everything is starting. Look, the hot glue is also soft. In the white car, no sign of that happening. Big difference here. Tiago, what do you think the black car will reach at its maximum? 132.8, 122, and you, Danny, 135.5 degrees. Jansen, 149, 149. I think it'll reach 140, and what about you watching this? What temperature do you think the black car will reach on a day when it's going to be around 95, 96.8 degrees Fahrenheit in Sao Paulo? It hasn't even been an hour of testing, and look at the hot glue stick. What's the logic behind what's happening there? On the white surface, sunlight arrives and is reflected, it goes away. On the black surface, no. Black absorbs light and turns it into heat. So the tendency is that yes, black heats up much more. We just don't know if this difference is 41, 50, or 59 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you might have guessed, the same thing happens with our t-shirts. Come here and see. I placed the two t-shirts I was wearing at the beginning of the video in the sun. It's been about 15 minutes. Let's take a look at the thermal camera to see the difference between the two. It's absurd. I can place a dot here. On the white t-shirt, it's 87.8, 89.6 degrees Fahrenheit. On the black t-shirt, 115 degrees Fahrenheit. The difference is about 59 degrees between one t-shirt and the other. That's a lot. But there's a detail about the t-shirt that complicates things a bit more. Our body also emits heat. It emits infrared waves. It's a kind of light that we can't see, but it transmits heat very well. The black t-shirt will absorb the infrared and diffuse it into the environment. In other words, if you're in an environment that's cooler than you, that's what will happen. 
The black t-shirt might even feel cooler than the white one, which will reflect the infrared back to your body, like a mirrored thermos that reflects heat back to the drink. In short, it's not that simple. With cars, there's also a catch that makes both the white and black cars heat up a lot. When sunlight passes through the car's windows, it manages to get in and reaches the dashboard. The dashboard is dark. It will absorb the light and turn it into heat, warming up the air inside. But the air can't escape because of the glass, so this energy accumulates inside the car. The light comes in, generates more heat, the air gets hotter and can't escape. It turns into a greenhouse. And that's why the ambient temperature at this moment is around 86 degrees Fahrenheit, but inside the cars it passed 104 degrees Fahrenheit a long time ago. It stopped rising, it is 12 hours and 30 minutes AM, and for the first time, a cloud moved in front of the sun. The temperature was only rising until now. Rising, rising, rising. Now it might drop a bit because there's some wind blowing, but I think we already have some pretty cool results. Oh my god, this is insane. Five hours in the sun, okay? We started at 10 in the morning. It's now 3 p.m. Clouds are starting to pass by. Let's open these cars and see what happened. Oh my god. Stop, stop, stop. Before the mess, let's take a look at what happened with the temperature in both cars. We also measured the ambient temperature every 10 minutes, and this is what we have here. The ambient temperature practically didn't change. It stayed between 86 and 88 degrees Fahrenheit, completely stable. But the temperature inside the cars kept rising. Look, it started differently, right? The white car was 41 degrees cooler just from the short time we spent setting things up with the door open. So this means that even with the door open, with just a little time in the sun, the black car starts heating up much more, and then this difference becomes gigantic. In this range here, we have a difference of about 50 or 46.4 degrees Fahrenheit between the two cars the entire time, reaching up to 140 Fahrenheit in the black car at this point. Then a cloud moved in, so you can see it stopped rising a bit, but soon after, strong sunlight hit from the side and directly hit the thermometer sensors in both cars, slightly more on the white car, which was shifted a few few centimeters closer to the window. And look, the temperature rose a lot, a lot, a lot. In the black car, it reached 160 Fahrenheit. In the white car, 155 Fahrenheit. Then the clouds came and it started dropping again. What's the conclusion of all this? The black car really does get hotter, usually about 46 degrees more than the white car. If you live in a hot city, and nowadays, who doesn't live in a hot city? When you're driving around the city, and usually you'll have the windows closed because it's dangerous, who doesn't live in a dangerous city? Either you'll spend a lot more on air conditioning, or you'll just suffer the heat. The love for a black car, which I personally find prettier, will cost you some money. But there's one thing that might be the most important of all. This temperature of 158 Fahrenheit is deadly. If someone stays inside this car for any amount of time, they die. A baby, an animal, there's no way to survive. It's hotter than most deserts in the world. It's very dangerous. Wow, the steering wheel is burning my hand. Let's check its temperature. The car dashboard is 185 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, it's insane. The paraffin is liquid, like water. If you touch it with your finger, it burns. The hot glue stick fell off, it came loose. I thought the boat would collapse, but it's still intact. It hasn't changed much at all. It's hot, almost burning my hand, but it didn't deform. The hot glue turned into jelly. I'm going to grab it here. Look, it's completely soft, it's gone. The plate is almost burning my hand. Ouch! Look, this chocolate. I swore it would turn into liquid, but no. It kept its shape, but I think if I press it with my finger, it'll crumble. Let's try. Wow, the chocolate is almost burning my hand, and it hasn't melted. It's very warm. It doesn't feel good at all. Let's save opening the egg for the end. Wow, it's so hot. Now let's get into the oven, right? Wow, yeah, everything here is extremely hot. Probably the dashboard is hotter than in the other car. 196 Fahrenheit. 198, oh my god, let's try checking with the thermal camera here. Look at this. Here in the middle, it shows the temperature of what's being measured there. And the red dot is always the hottest spot. 
It's already dropping a bit. It's no longer 196 because I opened the car. But you can see that the dashboard, which was getting direct sunlight, is the hottest part of all. Insanely hot. But look, the result isn't very different. The paraffin completely melted. It's here. Liquid like water. The hot glue stick fell onto the car dashboard and stuck here. Now I need to remove this hot glue quickly before it creates a mess. I'll clean this up in a bit. The boat, same thing. It didn't deform, theoretically. The chocolate plate. Oh my god, this thing is about 176 Fahrenheit. You can't hold it with your bare hands. And the chocolate is the same. I think this chocolate here, it doesn't melt people. It's unbelievable. It's brittle. Look, it feels like clay. And the hot glue here got even worse. The hot glue and the black car disappeared. Let's crack these eggs open. The egg is burning my hand. Let's open it in the shade. At least for me, this part here is the coolest of all. I wonder if we can cook an egg on the car dashboard. I'll crack open the egg that was on the white car's dashboard first. Look, it's like a poached egg. It's not fully cooked, but it's whitish, completely white inside. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so hot. Now look at the egg that was in the black car. It's practically cooked. Oh my god, look at that. If you let it cool down a bit, it gets really firm, really firm. The yolk is hard, look. The yolk is like powder. If cooking an egg on your car dashboard isn't worth a thumbs up, I don't know what is. I know it's a time when everyone is desperate because of the heat. The best tip I have to give is this experiment here. It's a way to gather milk cartons and place them on your roof under the tiles to prevent the heat from getting into your house. It's super useful, seriously, click there and check it out.